So what we have is the open strings and we're going to play them counted like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And notice that I'm emphasizing that that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And yes, I'm keeping my fingers close, so do try to do that. You keep them close together like this, and you keep them close to the strings as you use them. And after they're used, you bring them right back. This stroke is called, in classical guitar, it's called a free stroke. And you want to keep the fingers close. Okay, so that goes on for four measures. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So when we come to the last of the group of four arpeggios we play, on the note on beat six, one, two, three, four, five, we have the first finger ready right here, and I'm going to play that note with my ring finger. And then I'll repeat with the ring finger and the thumb. Now when you play these two notes together, your fingers are going to tend to pop out like this best thing you can do is to already have them touching the string. In fact, practice doing this. This really helps. Practice putting them lightly on the string and just going like this, because ideally you want them right there for that. Now that is a pull-off to an open string. So the one is down there, and it literally pulls the string downward toward the floor, and then you pluck it and release it. So it's sounded without the right hand. The right hand plays once like that. And when you play those two notes together, it's the middle and ring finger. And again, when you do that pull, your fingers, because they're going to tense up from doing the pull, they're going to tend to move away from the strings, causing you to miss the next couple notes. You keep them lightly touching. You give that very, very slow practice. Okay, now I continue. Double notes again, double notes again, where I put the second finger down, so one to two. Now, something a little tricky, a hammer and a slide. Okay, so the hammer, I just, I have the one down, hammer the two. If you're new to hammers and you want special training on it, I do have an entire course on how to develop the hand for all hammer and pull situations. But for right now, just try to do it slowly at first, even if you don't get a sound. And when you do it faster, you get that. And then you slide down to one. And after the slide with one, you want to hold the one there and then put your three for those notes. So that'll be the third finger. And then that third finger slides down and does this. Now that is a pull and a slide. So again, a pull off, different than before though, before we had pull off to an open string, now we have pull off to a fretted note. Again, and then that. Now, from here, you want to hold that finger down, reach the four out, a first play by itself and then with the fifth string. So, I'm gonna play that whole little bit there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, that's a triplet actually. One, two triplet, three, one. There's a brief measure of three eight there, but Thank you for watching this Guitar Principles guitar lesson. If you'd like to find out how good you could really be on guitar, learn more about the principles. It's the only guitar method in existence that teaches you how to teach your fingers to play like a pro, instead of struggling with every song you try to learn. If you're tired of guitar lessons that just show you what it looks like if you can already do it, and would like to know the real secrets of making your fingers play like a pro, Learn more about the principles and all the other teaching resources to be found at guitarprinciples.com. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more one-of-a-kind guitar lessons.